I'm John, welcome to the Basic Agent channel on YouTube. We focus on the basic interest items of insurance agents. A sales funnel is a concept used in the marketing world to map out the stages a customer has to go through before they eventually make the purchase. The word funnel comes from the fact that most potential customers begin the sales process at the top end stage. However, only a small fraction of the prospects at the top ever end up purchasing something. So let's see what we need to do to get into this funnel thing a little bit deeper. Whenever a prospect moves past a stage in the funnel, the chances of them actually making a purchase goes up. Both conventional and online businesses utilize this market and model for guiding their B2B, which is business to business, or B2C, which is business to consumer marketing strategies at every stage. We use it at Apex Insurance Group as well. Now, there are different stages in this sales funnel. The sales funnel begins when your sales process uh, prospect learns about your business for the first time and culminates when they purchase something from you. The journey might be different for different prospects depending upon the services and the products that you sell and your buyer's persona and your niche and several other factors that we won't go into here. Before you develop a sales funnel, it is crucial to write down a concise business vision, build a marketing strategy for your e-commerce business, and define the audience that you would like to target. For instance, entrepreneurs looking to create an online clothing store have to follow a specific steps for developing their business and staying successful. We have to do a similar thing here in the insurance industry. Your product sales funnel can have any number of different stages. However, there are generally four stages that are the ones that you must pay closer attention to in order to achieve success. So let's go ahead and cover them now. First off is sales funnel awareness. Here's your sales process. A prospect comes to know what your services, your products, or solutions are all about. Most people at this stage are generally trying to understand different problems in their life and they're seeking solutions for them. Now that's when they stumble upon your website or they stumble upon you, which was recommended to them by a social media post or a friend or a search engine result, an advertisement or some other source of traffic. There's the interest stage. Here, the sales process prospect why do I have a hard time saying that? I don't know. The sales prospect is actively searching for working solutions that promise to help them achieve their objections. They type in their queries on Google. It attracts them to your site by having some high quality content on your site. Make sure that it's high quality. The prospect starts expressing their interest in your service or the product at this stage. They subscribe to your mailing list and they follow your social media handles. The decision process, this is the sales, when the sales prospect is halfway there. He has finally decided to follow your solution. They're also paying attention to your offerings, including the options and the packages listed on your website, so that then when they finally make that decision on what to do, they'll pick up your product. Sales office offers start pouring in at this point in the form of calls, webinars, sales pages, those kind of things. The action stage, this one is the good one. The prospect finally becomes a paying customer when he finalizes and closes the deal. He signs the sales contract and clicks the button to purchase your product. The money lands in your account. Now, do note that certain sales funnels don't necessarily stop there. Your customer interactions might not always go as planned. There's another stage here. It's called retention. 
By now, you've already got the paying customer. Now you need to keep them on your existing customer list and keep them happy, which will make them purchase from you repeatedly, maybe a different insurance product, and make them brand advocates for your particular business. Don't ever underestimate the power of word of mouth marketing. Keep your customers happy by helping your customers out with the problems and the troubles that they faced with the solution you've offered. Ensure that there is some engagement between them and your service or product. This can be done on a regular basis through newsletters. Now, this can be done also in sharing product content like uh, product usage guides or white papers, outreach and surveys and subsequent follow-ups, special offers. You know, you can also call them and do a voice follow-up on occasion and emails are a super great idea. Some of the questions are how to deploy content at every sales funnel stage. Marketers often make the mistake of not aligning their content strategies with the sales funnel stage their prospects are at, which can cause them to lose out on many deals. Sometimes it does take a specialist to help you with your social media development. Apex Insurance Group will loan you our consultant for an hour and you can ask them your most invasive questions on how to build a sales funnel. Additionally, they stop researching other lucrative stat strategies like repurposing existing content on a website for increasing that result. Now, as a result, their sales process, prospects remain stuck in that funnel without any progress. So here's how you should deploy different types of content at every sales funnel stage. So pay attention. This is real interesting because it's something that in the new world we as insurance agents should be doing as independent folks in our own neighborhood. We should be blogging. It creates interest and awareness. Blogging allows you to generate more interest and awareness for your product or service. It can help drive more traffic to your website. You can also share valuable content with your subscribers, thus keeping engagement levels high. You need to optimize your blog, blog content using the right SEO keywords to attract more traffic organically without relying on any paid advertising. A refined marketing sales funnel strategy transforms passive viewers into paying customers. You can also promote social media posts and influence others to like, comment, and share them on their own accounts. Now, do note that blogging isn't the bottom of the funnel activity. It's probably more in the middle, if not at the top. Blogs are unlikely to make people decide to purchase from you. You have to either convince them for a sales call or deploy other forms of content to seal the deal. Lead magnets. Now that's an interest item. Lead magnets can be used for generating customer interest in your services or products. You can build a mailing list by providing something of valuable, of value to your target audience, something that they already want, like a, a course or a guide, a white paper on buying insurance. Any content that educates your sales prospect and gives them the ability to solve problems and accomplish their goals will build your reputation. You can build demand for your products on your own as well. Now, lead magnets allow you to add calls to action where you can convince customers to contact your sales team, yourself, what have you, and check out your services or products. I'm on loan from Apex Insurance Group. You can contact me there. Apex Insurance Group is a marketing organization offering over 85 carriers, 250 plus products, and multiple specialties. I thank you for viewing this video. I hope that there was information that gave you something to think about. If you enjoyed it, I would consider it a point of pride if you would click the like button. We encourage comments and will welcome your ideas and tips which have helped you throughout your life. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the Basic Agent channel. Click the subscribe button down below. Also, clicking the chime will notify you of my new post on Saturdays. Meanwhile, continue to be memorable.